I actually have already went and put the beacon in between shows just to make it easier to find for me. But I'm going to walk you through the best ways to find it. I've actually found two ways. This is actually my third video making because I had completely messed up and muted the first time or the second time. The first time was having a heck of a time finding the island. So I decided to clean it up. This is the third try and we are going to go through and show you how this is done now. So first we're going to come out to the ship. And what I like to do is angle right for where the where you first start to see the open hole of the hull that's where you want to roughly get to now in the last game I played um, the island was actually about 1400 meters away from the life pod and in this game it's only about 500 just under 600 meters from the life pod but if you use the directions I show on how to find it and you go slow you'll find it either way if you go too fast like in a sea moth um, the island won't have time to generate so the distance itself doesn't matter too much as long as you go in the correct direction so if I didn't have the buoy up I wouldn't know but this is roughly where I would want to be right where all that hole is in the, the hull so then if you come straight out away from the ship you will find the island pretty quickly the island itself is gonna be another video down the road because there's actually oh, and there it is it starts to populate um, there's actually an alien building that you can go in to explore if you have that purple tablet that I showed you in the previous video and as you see these are slowly spawning in come around you'll start to see the alien part spawn now there are tons of caverns to walk through on this island but there's also those little crab spider guys who are just nasty so um, if you have the repulsor gun or if you have the technology for it I would strongly suggest you use it before exploring the caves themselves but you can actually find pretty much everything you're looking for either on the side of the island or on its beaches. As you can see, the alien building has finally spawned in. And if we go to the other side, uh, the entrance is there. As you can see, this will take us up into one of the caves. I'm actually going to have my knife out because, sure enough, there's the crabs. So we want to try to avoid them. But there is the alien building. And here is another purple tablet. I'm going to leave it for now. My inventory is kind of full. And I've already got a purple one. But you'll use it and then you will use it on that pedestal right down there. Um, make sure you're full of food and water because I did find myself running low while exploring that of course I explored quite a bit of the island itself so yeah things got a little tight there but yeah just make sure that you bring bring food and water or beef at 100% before you come to explore for anywhere really too long uh, same thing when you get on into the caverns and caves. Um, and what did we get? Gold. Okay. I actually really don't care about the gold, so I'm just going to drop it. Um, but you will find there's quite a few things to get on this island. So if you see the green stuff right there, that's actually your Renanite. And you need several of those. Sorry for the lag. It's killing me here. Um, Uranite's made for, or you used for making uranium rods. And so you'll want that when you have your nuclear reactor. 
Um, also, this is a really good place for finding lithium inside the caves. Um, lithium, of course, is used for several things. Uh, here's, here's more of that uraninite I was talking about. I'm not going to pick any up right now. Um, but lithium is really good for uh, strengthening the hull. And there's several other items that it's used for, but I cannot remember off the top of my head. But if you see where it says basalt, that's what you want for diamonds. And of course it gave me gold again. But basalt is where you get diamonds from. Now, as this is already my second time at the island for the videos, I've already collected most of the rocks that you would find here until they respawn. So I may not be able to actually show you a diamond today if I don't find one, because again, I'm not going to go into the caves without a propulsion cannon. Um, I could, but it's just a lot of chaos that I don't want to deal with right now. Here's some rocks down here, so maybe we'll get lucky. I really want to show you that, yes, indeed, these give you diamonds, and I'm not lying. And gold. Gold again. Gold again. So as you can see, diamonds aren't super common, not like every single rock, but think of it kind of like copper and silver. Um, these do drop it, but not every single rock. They're still somewhat rare, but this has been the best location I have found to get diamonds. As you can see right over there, there is a Cyclops engine part. I actually found two here already. Um, this isn't my primary place to come for, you know, the engine components, but you can get them here. So I've just unlocked the blueprint. Um, I'm not really positive if you can get those here every time or if it changes up. Um, and a, there we go. There's a diamond. I knew I wasn't lying. So I'll show you other locations where I'm used to getting fragments for the Cyclops in another video but hey if you can find them here then that's just a bonus I'm going to try and get myself another diamond or two um, the lithium that you'll find here is a there we go is a purple uh, crystal it looks a lot like uh, quartz Seconds. But it's purple instead of the whitish clear. Um, again, I found most of the ones that were laying around the island already. So I would have to go into the caves to show you. But And they will eventually regenerate on the outside as well. But now that I've shown you that, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the second way to find the island I find that this actually can be easier but if you need a landmark the ship might be easier for you um, it's kind of a personal preference but I thought I would show you both ways hey We're making our way back to the pod, and then I'm going to show you the way from the pod to the island. Right. And distances vary on each game because your life pod's not always in the same spot. You're relatively always on this side of the ship but give or take 
100, 200 meters. You won't be closer than a certain range because of radiation, but this does randomly generate. So if you didn't see the, the buoy, the beacon there, what you do is you see the ship and you know that you want to head out and away from it. What I, what I discovered is if you keep track of the seabed and you don't go more than um, 50 meter, if, the, if you never lose track of the seabed below 50 meters, then you're going in the right direction roughly. Because you'll notice like a lot of places it starts to drop off real quick. So you, I just keep following the shallow ridges. It's been like this so far in every game for me. So the terrain might look a little different, but I'm able to stay at a pretty shallow point. It looks like it might start to drop off, but sure enough, here is the start of the island. So again, as long as you know you know you're going in the wrong direction if you watch the seabed drop way off. The mountain island the mountain island never just comes up out of like a 300 meter crevice or ravine um so i don't know if you necessarily find this to be any easier than the ship location but i did think i would point that out for you um why we are going this way i can't i just saw a piece of wreck that's actually not far from our base so i thought since we still have time we would take a look at that Assuming we can find it again. There we go. And of course, there's a stalker right there. Be a pest. I'm just looking to see if maybe we see any. I don't really see a way in. Oh, is that a. It looks like a battery charger. Oh, it is. There's a bonus. We can get battery chargers made, then we can start, uh, that's a sea glide. Oh, what is this? Bioreactor fragment? Trying to keep moving just for the fact that that, that stalker is right there and he's going to be a pest. Let's see, though, if by chance we can see any more battery charger fragments while we're out here. Because that would really make my day. Nothing yet. Of course, I could be blind. the cutter we might be able to make our way in that door on the top there but I'm not positive these stalkers are being real pains in the rear right now so we're gonna move on we can always come back and explore that but I think that is everything that I was going to show you I can make the laser cutter real quick and that way, in an upcoming episode, maybe this next one, we can go and explore the ship. I think that would be a really fun video to make. So let's uh, aim for that for our next one. Laser cutter. Perfect. Definitely want that going into the ship. All right. I think that will do it. Uh again thank you very much for watching the video if you have any questions or comments please feel free to let me know in the comment section if you like this please feel free to like my video and always welcome to subscribe thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video